found this rucksack, and I think I know who it belongs to. If I help you, I wonder if you can work it out. Maybe if we're very lucky, there'll be a name. Let's have a look. Oh, look what's inside. A lovely toy cat. Oh, how sweet is that? But I don't think there's a name. I'll just look. No, there's no name. I'd better keep on looking. What else is inside? Maybe there'll be a name on this. Ah, a t-shirt. A Minions t-shirt. I wonder if there's a name. Surely someone would have put a name on this. <sighs> oh no, there's no name. I'll put it down for the moment. What else do we have? Ah, a pink bag. There's no name. How disappointing. But there are some things inside. Maybe we'll get lucky. What have we got? We've got a hairbrush. Okay, what else is inside? Toothbrush, mmm, and toothpaste. I know. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Maybe this person had been on a sleepover. But there's still no name, so we'll have to keep on looking. Ah, oh, here we have a coat. That's very sensible. I wonder if there's a name on this coat. No. No, there's still no name. Still have to keep on looking. Aha! Somebody's bought a snack with them. Ooh, lovely. Apricots, dried apricots. I love apricots. I think this person likes apricots too. I'll just put them down because I saw something else. Ah, of course, a water bottle. There's no lid. But are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ah, let's look at the clues. We have somebody's very special toy. What else? They packed a spare t-shirt. We have a hairbrush, toothbrush and toothpaste. We have some food, some snacks, a water bottle and a coat. I think, I really do think this person might have been on a journey. But I know there were some more things in the rucksack, so I better go and take a look. Yes. A book. Obviously a very special book. It's a picture dictionary. Let's just take a look inside. Wonderful. And if we're very lucky, I think we might find the name. Yes, there's a name. It's Sarah Bashir. And you're right, this rucksack belongs to Sarah Bashir. But there was another book in here, which I would like to show you. Yes, look at this. It's a picture book. It's got some sheep. It's got some chickens. And it's got a rabbit. But if you look very, very carefully at the writing, I wonder if you can see something a little bit different. It's not written in English. It's not written in French. Can you guess what language it's written in? Yes, it's written in Arabic. This is wonderful because Sarah can not only read and write in English, but she can probably read and write and speak Arabic too. Fantastic. But there was one more thing I noticed in her rucksack. A mobile phone. I think this phone belongs to Sarah. And I think if I switch it on and we're very lucky, we might be able to get a photo of her. 
One, two, three. Yes, that's a photo of Sarah Bashir. And I know her story and I'll tell it to you now. Sarah comes from a very beautiful country far away. She lived in a modern city with lots of shops. This was the street where she lived. But then one day, a war started in her country and it became very dangerous to go outside. Lots of bombs fell from the sky and now the place she lived looks like this. So Sarah's family decided that they had to leave to find a safe place to live, a long way from all the dangers. They had to walk a long way and carry their things with them. This is all Sarah could carry. She had to leave everything else behind. In the end, they reached a camp where they could stay for a while. People gave them food, but Sarah didn't like it. She likes the food her mum cooks. And in the winter, the camp got cold and muddy. Sarah used to dream of being in a proper house again. And she often thought of her friends and wondered where they were and if they were okay. Sarah is safe now. She's here in England as a refugee and kind people are helping her and her family make a new life. Close your eyes. Imagine that you and your family had to run away from bombs and fighting and go on a long journey to another country. Imagine leaving everything you knew and loved. Imagine how would you feel Open your eyes. You never know. Someone like Sarah might come to your school soon. How will you welcome them? How will you make them feel at home?